world, my name is Maya Sundermeyer and I would like to welcome you to the latest episode of my blog series. The main purpose of my blogs right now is to talk about what it is like for me to live on the autism spectrum. Um, I also like to uh, give my opinion at, about how I view the world versus how you view the world. I also like to give tips to others on the autism spectrum that are dealing with a neurotypical who is being a pain in the butt, but as we both know, we have to live with those neurotypicals and uh, sometimes we have to uh, work on ways to assert ourselves in a nice friendly way by setting boundaries just like they set boundaries with us and I uh, also would like to educate the open-minded person that wants to learn everything they can about autism without looking at biases and stereotypes and hogwash of the media about us um, I uh, eventually would like to turn my blog into a, a mini Good Morning America series for YouTube. And instead, I would like to talk about all things geeky. I would like to go to various universities across the United States and talk about the latest studies and go, just go into depth with, um, with uh, their scientists and the researchers. And also I do a compare and contrast of... Uh, what they are finding versus what the media claims to be finding and uh, getting everybody upset or everybody excited. Um, I'd also like to go and uh, talk with the uh, top astronomers and I would also love to talk with uh, other celebrities like Dr. Temple Grandin because she's also a big nerd and uh, she uh, lives on the autism spectrum like us and um, that woman is a pure genius. And I think um, she would uh, be a, a great guest on my show because she's just unique. Um, I also would like to go to Dragon Con and Comic Con and talk about the latest trends in, uh, in cosplay fashion and I would also like to um, go into depth and detail about each convention and how they got started to um, the different types of shows that are famous like Dragon Con's Masquerade and their, um, their wrestling matches and their parades, I mean you name it. But right now, I'm going to stick to what it is like for me to live on the autism spectrum and uh, giving my perspective of things. And so, uh, most recently, I mean, I have uh, known a, a series of people that live on the autism spectrum and that have been able to get married or graduate from college and get their driver's license and find careers and uh, they're able to connect with other people that are neurotypicals. And uh, uh, that is terrific because I myself have been able to uh, break through a series of barriers. I mean, I mean, uh, about a decade ago. I mean, this would have never been possible for me. I mean, I didn't know how to manage my money. Uh, I didn't have any good social skills. I had trouble making friends. I mean, I wasn't even good at mathematics until about 11 years ago. I mean, I, I mean, I, I'm really happy. Uh, you know, for these kinds of people because I'm on that same track myself. And then I'm also at Georgia State University. I'm going to work on a degree in mathematics and astronomy because uh, I have what uh, Temple Grandin likes to describe as the pattern mind, meaning that I'm good at mathematics and um, I can find out where uh, something, where a problem lies. Uh, and then um, I am also working on my uh, real estate license right now and then I'm going to be working for a team as soon as I uh, pass my uh, final and state exams and I'm really nervous about it. But the point is what I'd like to talk about is while all these things are great, I have noticed lots of people on the autism spectrum that have become successful. I've noticed that just about each and every one of them go through a time where they um, where they seem to act conceited and they don't really seem to remember all the struggles that they went through where uh, where it was unfair to them that everybody else around them had a perfect life and everyone around them had a special someone or they were struggling to make friends. Um, in fact, I uh, call this type of behavior crossing over. I mean, I've also noticed that various people that live on the autism spectrum that get these special privileges they start to pretend that they're not on the autism spectrum and that they're neurotypicals. Well, I've got news for you that uh, have crossed over. You will always be autistic. You will always struggle with things no matter what the, uh, what, 
what the circumstances look like. I mean, you may be able to well, work around your problems, but the thing is, your ego is not more important than everybody else. Um, another thing that I've noticed about these people that live on the spectrum, one minute they're accepting of others that are struggling, and the next minute they're turning their back on them, and uh, suddenly they're much more important. So, you know, and they're going off bragging, and they're going around dressed in pretty clothes, and they're going around and um, acting like uh, maybe that other person can't do what they've done. And so I've got news for you uh, autistics that think you're too good for everybody else. Shut up. You, uh, you struggled too and you need to be uh, leaving a legacy and you need to set examples for the others uh, that want to follow in your footsteps. Oh. So get over yourselves. Again, shut up and, uh, and help these other people uh, become what they want to be. So. Until next time, I'm Maya Sundermeyer and I'm signing off now. Bye.